Welcome to another opening. I'm Moana Turtle and today we are opening up some Yu-Gi-Oh! It has been quite some time before we've done since our last Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. I'm pumped. This uh, new set looks pretty cool. Legendary Duel's Magical Hero that just dropped. And uh, first thing that jumped out at me, this set is super small. So there's 36 packs in here, 5 cards per pack. And there's only 29 commons, 10 rares, 8 super rares, and 9 ultras. So for like that rare slot, there's only, what was that, 27 cards even there. And you have 36 packs. And we're going to be opening up this entire box. Hopefully we can find some great cards. There are a couple ultra rares that seem to be the chase cards. One of them is Magician Soul, and the other one is Elemental Hero, Liquid Metal Hero. And reading through though, those cards, you know, even though I don't play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! They sounded absolutely amazing. You know, help generate some card advantage. And, um... Yeah, the one you can discard a couple cards for spell or magic card, spell or trap cards, and <clears throat> kind of draw that many. So it kind of sounds like it can help you cycle through your deck looking for what you're looking for, or looking for the cards that you need. And as well as some tricks to basically get it on the field or get a Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl out as well. So let's see what we got. We have a Hero Lives, Do 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 Buster, Dark Magical Circle, I feel like I've seen this card a bunch of times, Harmoni Harmonizing Magician, Pendulum card, and then our first rare is Secrets of Dark Magic. And I feel like this set is one kind of a, is a great example of one thing that I really like about Yu-Gi-Oh, again, even though we don't play competitively, but I like how they take, you know, super old archetypes, you know, like the Dark Magician has been around since day zero, and they continually to add, continue to add support to it. So even if it's not, you know, the best thing right now, over time, you'll keep getting buffs, and then hopefully we'll stay competitive with the whatever happens to be top tier at the time so you know they keep trying to balance things out i have to imagine is the goal so that everything is somewhat viable all right let's see time gazer magician this we definitely seen before in i think when pendulums are first introduced ga 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 samurai so those go 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 something now we got ga 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 dark magician girl how many times has this been reprinted um yeah so these the soul dark was a magician soul does require you to pitch a six star so i guess dark magician girl can fill that spot and then you can uh, special summon a dark magician or dark magician girl or you can special summon the soul itself and then we got do 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 wharf go 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 glow oh my gosh i do find the naming of Yu-Gi-Oh cards at times, it feels like it's getting more and it's increasingly, feels increasingly silly. All right, that card again. Remember, there's not that many cards in the set, so we'll probably speed up as we go. Number FO, Utopic Future. Ooh, Wing Karibo, cool. It's a pretty iconic card. Magician's Rod. And then more of this G vowel, G vowel, G vowel stuff. So that was Ga 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 Cat? Cat? All right, have yet to find our first hollow. Not sure what the distribution will be. If I wonder if like Ultra is the new secret, so I wonder if there's only like a couple um, per side, or one or one per side or something. All right, you can activate this onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia per turn. Send one card to your hand to the graveyard. Add up to two of these monsters from your deck to your hand, and it's like one Zubaba, one Gaga, -ga -ga, one Go Go Go, or one Do Do Do. <laughs> These, and these are real cards. Perform a pal Celestial Magician. So we did get our first super. And then Future Drive. So this is one of those sets where you always guaranteed a rare. And then you might find a super as well. Or you might find an ultra as well. But yeah, those are the ones we are looking for. The Elemental Hero sounds pretty cool as well. Uh, if you use it for fusion. Or basically when you normal summon, you can bring another four-star monster out as well. I believe it's from the graveyard. And then if you fusion summon it, use it as fusion summon material, which that's what the heroes are all about. Ooh, Elemental Hero Sunrise. Pretty cool. And that is our first uh, Ultra in Anamana 
Tacto Pickup. It's <laughs> very silly. But Elemental Hero Sunrise. Let's see what we got here. And the text is a little too small, but two hero monsters with different attributes. But yeah, if you use it as a fusion material, I think it's draw two, discard one. So more card advantage. And um, yeah, while kind of sifting out the, through the deck. Spiral Flame Strike looks pretty cool. Looks like maybe like a red eyes kind of thing. Go, 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 Giant. Illusion Magic. Chronograph Sorcerer. Ooh, I do like that art. And then Magician Navigation. A lot of Dark Magician support. I like it. And the thing that's cool is like when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out, I feel like Dark Magician was such an iconic card that always felt so terrible. Like when I was playing, it was just, things were super vanilla. You normal summon a bunch of stuff so that you can tribute them. And you know, a lot of it, emphasis was just on removal. Things like Regeki, Dark Hole, Fissure, just to kind of maintain board control and uh, kind of went out from there. And Dark Magician was just terrible. 2500 attack for two tributes. Cosmic Blazar Dragon. Always got these cool dragons. Doppel Warrior, Smile Action. Here is our next super Apprentice Illusion Magician. So many different magicians, and yep, six stars. Nice. So maybe it's another potential thing to synergize with that magician soul all right and uh yeah if you opened any of these packs let me know how if you managed to pull any of those uh chase cards i have no idea what the pull rates are magician navigation but these sets i find it interesting like how small they are so what is that like? Uh, 17 and 29. 46 cards all together. And you get 36 packs in a box. And obviously because of how the chase cards work, how the short prints work, you know, it'll still take many boxes potentially to pull the whole set. But yeah, such a small set. Ooh, yes, we got it on our first try. Magician Soul, there we go. Took me a second before I realized we pulled it. Absolutely amazing. Can't believe we pulled it. This thing going for like $100. But yeah, uh, looks really cool. Kind of have like a soul version of Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. I guess it's their souls. Oh yeah, Magician Soul. And there's a posture there. You can send up to two spell or trap cards from your hand or in or field to the graveyard. Draw that many cards. If you if this card is in your hand, send one level six or high, or or higher. I missed that part. Spell cast it from your deck to from your deck to the graveyard. Oh man, that's really easy to do. And then you can uh, special summon a dark magician, dark magician girl from the graveyard, or you can special summon this card so you can use the other effect. All right, <laughs> there we go. We don't do too many Yu-Gi-Oh openings, but when we do, we do it right. Getting those chase cards. And I'm always excited to open like new Yu-Gi-Oh sets, but when there's like, you know, nothing too crazy in the set that can be really uh, kind of take, you know, especially since we don't play competitively, can kind of take the thrill out of it. But this one does not fall in that category. And boom, there we go. Magician Soul. Neospatian Aquadolphin. So the, obviously there is hero support in here, elemental hero support, but uh, I feel like I'm not seeing a whole lot of it. We did see the Aquadolphin. We did get the elemental hero Sunrise. Not sure if that's one of the better ones. There was one cool uh, Dark, Ma Dark Magician based fusion card. I think it was like, I don't know, I think it was Magician something. Actually everything is Magician something. But I am super stoked we pulled that Magician Soul. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Show some support for this great Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Yeah, we don't do this too often, but it's going really well. Magistry Alchemist. Not sure what's going on here. Banish four hero monsters from your graveyard and or face up, then target one in your graveyard. Special summon, ignoring summoning conditions. Interesting. All right, last pack for the first half of the box. So it seems like you get two ultras per side and maybe like four supers, assuming that this is just a rare. Pendulum Sorcerer. Illusion Magic. 
harmonizing and scrap iron signal. All right, let's get over to the second half of the box. Yeah, so they have a bunch of different kind of Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Uh, I kind of like this one. You know, there's not too many cards. Uh, but it's not like, hey, every card is hollow. Those are cool. But then again, it gets kind of old where it's like, you know, this thing is this thing is secret rare, but it's actually not that special. And you get like two of them in a single box. It doesn't, it feels like it takes it away. So this, you know, it's a pretty quick opening. Uh, but, you know, it still has that, yeah, you have to earn everything. You need to earn those supers. You really need to earn those ultras, especially if they're the chase ones. So I'm really feeling this set. And it's dark magician base like how can you not like that there was a blue eyes one which I have never opened on the channel I open a couple cards but those ones are cool too obviously like you know the oldest archetypes probably dodo do buster Ooh, favorite hero is this equipment equipped to a level five or higher mere hero monster if you control Field zone, equip monster gains equal to its original attack and defense. Interesting. Pretty cool. Some more hero cards, and that was look like Flame Wingman. In case you didn't know, I say this all the time, but GX was my favorite era in Yu-Gi-Oh. Not that I've seen them all. But that was just a pleasure to watch. I love how you know they followed the rules. Everyone had their own unique styles. Just really cool. All right, Jet Synchron. Skyscraper, there's a card you see pretty often. Tuning, Spirit Flame Strike, and do 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 Dwarf go 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 So Magic kind of has like these unsets, and you know, if you showed me some of these cards like a year ago before we kind of started opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you asked me like, hey, do you think that this is like a one of those joke cards? I would definitely think yes. Do 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 dwarf and go 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 glove. And that's one creature. That's one monster card. Sounds like a doesn't sound serious to me. All right, so we're moving pretty fast at this point. We're kind of cruising through the commons. And we got one ultra and one super. So looking for one more ultra. And a couple more supers. Ah, I really like that art. That's really cool. Miracle Fusion. Fusion's Rod and another Scrap Iron Signal. I guess what's kind of nice is, so obviously beyond the chase cards, Let's say that there are some useful supers, or let's go with rares. I don't know, either one. You know, for if there are useful rares, you could probably potentially get a whole playset from a single box. And then, you know, for a super, probably need a couple. But since the set is so small, it probably doesn't take too long. Soul Servant is our next ultra. Place one card on top of your deck from your hand deck or graveyard that is dark magician or specifically list dark magician or dark magician girl in its text except soul servant during your main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard draw cards equal to the number of paladin monsters dark magician and or dark magician girls with different name on the field okay so you put the card back on top of your deck and then allows helps you draw it all right that's pretty cool sounds like it could be pretty annoying like, oh, I thought I dealt with this. I guess in Yu-Gi-Oh you never truly deal with things. Pendulum Dimension, Future Drive. So that was our fourth Ultra, most likely that's gonna be it. Still looking for a couple supers left in this box. But yeah, totally stoked about the results. Generation next. We got Clayman, Versinatrix, and Wingman. If I have my heroes, elemental heroes, correct. Yeah, really happy with the results. And yeah, if you happen to be a serious Yu-Gi-Oh player, you do, uh, you're familiar with the competitive scene. Um, yeah, how do you feel? What do you think about this set? 
beyond, you know, is it just those two cards and everything else is not exactly great. Uh, I have to imagine, eh, assuming you play, you know, magicians or heroes or do 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 go 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 or whatever. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a very much a one-off thing that hasn't caught much traction. We have random synchrons. Secrets of the Dark Magician. So we did pick up another one of these boxes, so we'll probably do our second box in the near future. Ooh, Elemental Hero Honest Neos. I believe I pulled this card. I wonder how many times this is reprinted, because I feel like I have a couple copies of this. Honest Neos. Don't remember what Honest Neo did, but uh, yeah, Neos kind of goes with everything. And yeah, another cool thing about GX is, you know, eventually they added the Neo Spatians and oh, we got another Ultra. I was expecting only to get four. I wonder if uh, this is like a pretty loaded box. Four Ultras and one of them is the big hit. Form a pal power up. And then this looks like some like magical, uh, mist, uh, the Cyclone stuff going on. The text is too small to read, but all right. Five Ultras. I like it. All right, guys. Last pack. Don't think there's gonna be any magic in this one because we had so many hits already. Doppel Warrior and Magician Navigation. Whew, that was fun. But uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the sets and how your own pulls are going. And uh, yeah, if any of these archetypes are viable, which are they? Does this is this going to be enough to make magicians viable? I'm kind of curious. Uh, not that I, I don't really follow the meta, so I'm kind of relying on you guys to let me know. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe for future content, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Morning Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.